How do you solve a linear system of equations, expressing your answer as a parametric solution set? First, express your system in its augmented matrix form. Second, use elementary row operations to find the row echelon form of your augmented matrix. You may choose to reduce completely into reduced row echelon form, but any form in which the pivots can be identified is appropriate. Using this row echelon form, identify which of your variables are free variables. These will be the variables corresponding to the columns that do not have pivots in your row echelon form. The columns that have pivots will correspond to the basic variables. Then, referring to your original system for the variable names, assign each of the free variables a parameter name, such as t, or S. The value of this free parameter can be chosen to be any real number and you will still have a solution to your system. Next, for each of the basic variables or bound variables, solve for the value of those variables in terms of the free parameter. In this example, we'll use back substitution to solve for the basic variables x and y in terms of the free variable z. Using the second equation and solving it for y, we find y is equal to 1 plus 2z. And then substituting the, into the first equation, x is 3 minus 4y plus 7z, into which we can substitute the expression y equals 1 plus 2z to express x completely in terms of the free parameter z. Once your basic variables have each been solved in terms of the free variables, remember that your free variables now have new parameter names and substitute those names into your expressions. That will make x equal to negative 1 minus t and y equal to 1 plus 2 t. Now that all the hard work is done, package your answer by remembering that your free variables need to be part of the solution as well. So in addition to knowing that x is negative 1 minus t and y is 1 plus 2t, I also need to remember that z itself is equal to t. This set of three equations constitutes a parametric description of the solution set for this linear system of equations. What that means is that any real number that I choose for t, if I substitute it into these three equations, will produce an x, a y, and a z that satisfy both of my original equations. If, in addition, we wish to express the solution set in a parametric vector expression, all we need to do from here is to package our three quantities together into single vectors. So the x, y, and z will become a vector. The constants on the right-hand side will become a vector. And the variable terms on the right-hand side that include the parameters will become a vector as well. Filling in any missing entries and factoring out the parameter gives us what we typically call the parametric vector expression for the solution set.